Cybermen are green, humanoid beasts that grow from a planted bulbs placed in the ground. The grain is stored in a particular liquid before its use. The Cybermen hold only enough intelligence to understand orders given to them by the leaders thus they will never revolt. On Earth, Nappa plants the last six during the battle against the Zed fighters. One battled and was defeated by Tian Shenyan with surprising ease and then was slaughtered by a Vegeta because it failed to win versus Tian. Cybermen are brutal warriors and can test a fighter's strengths. Nappa handles them as grunts to root out new opponents or to assess an opponent's power and skill level. They are said to be as powerful as a typical low-class Saiyan. Cybermen are also used in training. Cybermen can be developed in most planets soil Nappa said they were built well on Earth. The seeds are held in a small bottle with a greenish liquid in the bottom. Placing the seed and pouring the liquid on them will start the growth process. Toriyama said when talking of the Cybermen that the battle power is considerably high, at a level lightly inferior to Raditz, are the Cybermen a Saiyan invention. Akira Toriyama, the Cybermen are one of the Saiyan's superior weapons. But the Saiyans didn't invent them instead, a life form discovered on a particular planet. Cybermen are handy since they can fight then their own, but they are extremely rare and the valuable items since harvesting the bulbs is different, so not everyone gets to use them. Plus, they are so wild they might attack you, which means only a select few warriors are capable of handling them. Dragon Ball creator just solved the biggest Super Saiyan mystery. A Super Saiyan is a legendary transformation that was achieved by a Saiyan way back in time. It soon became a legend passed down from generation to generation. After that, Goku became the first person to achieve this form. And he did so in his fight versus Frieza. Goku achieved this form soon after Krillin's death. In this form, Frieza was absolutely no match for Goku. After that, some more Saiyans, like Vegeta and Gohan got this form. At the time, Gohan was the youngest Super Saiyan ever. However, soon came Trunks and Goku, and both of those kids achieved this legendary form very quickly. This surprised many fans, and some even called it bad writing. According to the fans, Goten and Trunks shouldn't have been able to achieve this form. It is as simple as that. Since at the time, it was believed that the Super Saiyan transformation can only be achieved through rage and extreme emotion. So, the argument was that since Trunks and Goten were kids, they shouldn't possibly be able to achieve this form, even if they wanted to. But Toriyama himself has cleared it up. Basically, most of the fans had it all wrong. Rage isn't the only factor there is, when it comes to becoming a Super Saiyan. There are several other factors that come into play, according to Akira Toriyama. According to Toriyama, not every Saiyan can become a Super Saiyan, even if they have extreme rage and go through severe training, which shuns the common belief. The actual transformation into a Super Saiyan depends on several factors, one of which is the cells. Once these cells reach a certain amount, one can then use Angupt and increase the amount of the cells, hence turning into a Super Saiyan. While everyone Saiyan have cells in the body, most just don't have enough, which is why turning into a Super Saiyan is such a big deal, and a rare event. Now, how were Goten and Trunks able to transform into a Super Saiyan without any serious rage? Continue reading the post.